today. I just came back from Home Depot. Stopped in for Timmy's. So, yeah. It's been a little bit of an emotional day. Um, yeah. Um, this morning, I was reading... Um, I read something. I don't know if it was on Facebook or... I think it was Facebook. Talking about... Um, Talking about this uh, this boy and his father. Father's a priest. The boy's eleven. Wanted to go out and hand, you know deliver papers, but the father said, "No, no, it's windy out, rainy out." He said, "No, no, we got to do this." So, anyways, he ended up going out, and um, and then as he was going, he dropped off all these flyers. He had one left. He couldn't drop it off couldn't drop it off because or nobody wanted it so he went to this one house he knocked on the door uh nobody answered knocked on again nobody answered and turned around to walk away and then he had this feeling that you know maybe uh, he tried again so he go back and he rang the bell and knocked on the door loudly and you know a couple of minutes later all of a sudden this lady shows up at the door and says yes young man how can i help you you know to, you know, he says, here, I'm delivering these and, uh, you know, saying that, you know, God will help you, God will save you, you know, stuff like that. Um, and she took it and said, have a nice day, and he left. Anyways, a week later, she, she ended up going to that church, uh, and, um, yeah, she ended up going to the church, and, jump, and the priest was up in the pulpit there and uh, asked, you know, uh, anybody like to give a testimony or whatever. Uh, lady raised her hand, got up, and started talking and said, you know, last week, blah, 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 you know, wasn't doing too well. I think her husband or stuff just, you know, uh, just passed away, felt like she was lonely, nobody wanted her so on and so forth so that day she decided to uh, put a rope on the closet and uh, and get on the chair and that's it you know pretty much that's it she was just so depressed so whatever uh, anyways somebody was knocking on the door she said they wouldn't stop and it was like uh, so she said I better go answer it and she did so the thing the, the thing that got me and, and 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 please like I know some people don't believe in you know whatever they don't believe in that stuff I don't, I don't okay so let's forget all that let's forget the god word if you want to if it makes you feel better that's fine but the reason the the whole thing about that story is that happened to me uh I had a bad year when I was 14, and I'm 65 now. I had a bad year when I was 14. I was molested. I, uh, my granddad died on Christmas Day. Uh, all that, you know, I didn't know where I was going, what I was doing, so, and I was on, and I was smoking a lot of pot. Uh, when I came back home, I didn't like it. Didn't like being there. Everything was different and not weird, not real. So I decided that uh, I wanted to end my life too. So I ended up uh, standing on a stool, taking a silk tie, wrapping it on the post, putting it on my neck, and I kicked the kicked the thing over, and uh, all of a sudden, the, all of a sudden, the tie ripped. Boom! Landed on the floor, and then from then on. It's like, um, it's like I looked up and I said, God don't even want me. Okay. So I go up, I meet my mother at the top of the stairs. She goes, how's your day? I said, I was like young and not too, you know, and I just said, yeah, it's going effing well. <laughs> and then I went on my little rant for years, you know, getting high, getting drunk. You know, et cetera, et cetera. We don't need to go into that. 
And there was another time, same thing, uh, you know, um, I wanted to, I wanted to end my life again. I think I just got divorced. I had one of my daughters with me. The other one was in, in care. Uh, cause she had some issues and, uh, yeah, I decided, uh, that was it. I couldn't handle any more, any more relationships, people leaving, all this other stuff. Anyways, uh, so I hung off the, I knew, I, I knew well enough, but, uh, I hung off the, I hung off the balcony, I think it was seven or eight floors up. And I had a, a at the time I had a, sh a shotgun. Uh, so yeah, so I'm hanging there with one arm, shotgun in the mouth and the other arm. In my head, in my head thinking that if the fall don't kill me, the shotgun blast will. Because I've heard stories of people doing that and only shooting half their head off or something like that and they're still alive so I didn't want to do that anyways the phone rang and for some strange reason obviously obviously the bottom line is I really didn't want to die I just didn't have an answer and I thought that was an answer it wasn't an answer but that's what I believed anyways the phone rang I jumped up I jumped over the balcony put everything down and grabbed the phone and it was my mother at the time what are you doing? I said, you really want to know? And she said, yeah, what are you doing? I really want to know. And I told her what I was doing. And she went, oh, my God. And one of the things she thought would work, she always said that, you know. She thought, well, what about your kids, you know? And basically at that point, I had the mindset of F my kids, F everybody, I'm done. Okay? And I think at that point, that was... I think I was 20 something then. Yeah, probably 20 or 30. So, and again, 65 now. Friends came over and talked to me and they said they, they couldn't budge me off the thing of wanting to die. Anyways, the reason I'm bringing all this up is because I was watching this thing today and it just brought tears to my eyes and it's just brought, you know, and it's like I'm, you know, and I'm not, you know, and I know people go through a lot of different things and some people do succeed and I feel very sorry for that. I, you know, my, my, my thoughts and prayers are with all of that. And, um, but yeah, the, the, you know, the, the thing is that, and that's what made me, that's what made me sort of like tear up today. Like I was sitting here and, and then I, I listened to, uh, I listened to a song, uh, by Aerosmith. Steve Tyler, but he was doing it with Portricelli Choir or something in Italy. Uh, and he was singing Dream On and then Walk This Way or something like that. And just it just brought up a whole bunch of emotions and stuff. Uh, you know, and it, you know, I was just sitting here looking at the world 2023 and... Uh, I guess the whole point of it all is my life has surely changed from way back when to now. And I'm glad I didn't decide to go through with it. Um, my life is so full. I got people texting me, people talking to me, I and mean, all the people that have helped me out get to me, get to where I am today, you know. I mean, I've had to go to counseling and stuff like that, but I mean, my life is so fulfilled, it's like it's, it's just unbearable, it's not unbearable, but you know what I mean, it's too much to take. When I sit back and I think, I have no problem with being thankful for stuff. I have no problem in looking at, yeah. You know, I could have been, I, I could have been someplace else, definitely not here. Um, so yeah, the whole thing is just, uh, makes me very 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 grateful for everything i have today makes me grateful rainy weather sunny weather i mean i don't always say that but it does when i if i sit back and correct myself i look and i say yeah well you got lots of stuff to be grateful for brother so anyways maybe this is too heavy for some and i apologize for that 
I mean, maybe bring back a whole bunch of old feelings, and I'm sorry for that, but I just felt like, you know, well, this is my life. This is van life. This is what I do. I live my life. This is the stuff I got to face every day. You know, some days are harder than others, but, uh, and, uh, yeah, no, uh, I haven't, I haven't rethought about, uh, even after I lost my legs, haven't rethought about, uh, visiting that, uh, oh, maybe I should just end it all. Uh, no, I haven't thought of that. I just, that's where my stubborn, stubbornness comes in. I gotta find a way to get the heck around this stuff. And that's what I do. I try my best to get around it. Anyways, and this is not to throw out, like, I mean, I know other people believe in different things, and I'm not, yeah, this is not a one set religious, spiritual thing. No, 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 because there was one part of my life I told God to, you know, till I finally figured it out. Um, so yeah, so, so I'm not trying to do anything like that. I mean, whatever, you know, there's a reason why we're all here. There's a reason why a lot of us have gone through, seems like hell and back. And there's still a reason why we're still surviving and striving today. But I don't want to survive anymore. I want to live. And that's what I've been doing for years now, living. And I want to continue that. Uh, but I just thought that, uh, you know, you guys tune in all the time, listen to what I got to say. And some of it's good stuff and some of it's what I'm doing and stuff. But I just wanted to take a moment. Well, it's more than a moment. It's about 11 minutes now, almost 12 wants <laughs> to take some time out to explain you know this this is just part of my day right now so yeah and i thought i'd share it so peace aloha i love you all thank you very much for your support thank you very much for watching this to the end and please like and subscribe and uh yeah have yourself a tremendous day even if it's raining out <laughs> Please, continue. Okay, I love you. Bye-bye.